Hello guys, welcome to Jehook and in today's session we are gonna see how to troubleshoot the GitHub permission denied public key issue. Well, this issue is pretty much common when you are trying to clone your GitHub repo. There are two ways to fix this issue. The first one and the easiest one is using the HTTPS URL. So while you are trying to clone your GitHub repo, try to use the HTTPS URLs. Don't worry, shortly we are gonna see the demo where we are going to use the HTTPS URL to clone our GitHub repo. The second way is using the SSH keys and I would recommend to use the second approach where you are going to use the SSH keys because it is more secure and you don't have to provide username and password uh, while trying to clone your GitHub repo. And also along with the demo I have prepared this guide where I have documented all the kit commands which I am going to show in this demo. So you can check the link of this guide into the description section and feel free to use those commands. Alright, so starting with our first approach, uh, first we are going to see the HTTPS URL approach. So this is my GitHub repo and here you will see on this green button, then there are two options uh, which you get generally. There is one HTTPS and second is SSH. So first we are going to see how to clone your GitHub repo using HTTPS so that we don't get that kind of issue. All right, so here is my terminal. And first of all, we are going to see the issue uh, when we are trying to clone our GitHub repo. So here is the command for cloning my GitHub repo and my GitHub repo is jhook master. So I'm just trying to clone this repo first. And here you can see the issue. Uh, GitHub permission denied public key could not read from your remote repository. So this is the e exact issue which we are talking about. If you look carefully over here in our git clone command, then we are not using the HTTPS URL. Instead, we are using the git at the red github.com followed by your e username and then your actual repository name. So we are trying to clone the GitHub repository using this URL, but not with the HTTPS. So our first approach is to use the HTTPS URL to clone your repo and to troubleshoot this issue. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go back to my GitHub account and I'm just gonna click on this green button and I'll go to this HTTPS uh, section or this tab and I'm just gonna copy this URL and if you look carefully this is the HTTPS URL not git at the red github URL okay so I'll just copy this uh, URL from here I'll go back to my terminal I'll clear the screen I'll just put git clone and I'll just paste the URL so one thing if you look carefully over here as soon as I hit the enter after writing the git clone command it is going to ask me the username so that's the one thing you should notice. If you are using the HTTP US, HTTPS URL, then GitHub is going to ask to authenticate you. Okay, so I'm just going to provide my username and my password. And as you can see, uh, I'm able to clone my GitHub repo. And as I run the ls command, so here I can see my repo has been cloned. The one drawback which I see using this uh, way of cloning is you need to provide your username password whenever you're trying to use the HTTPS URL. So GitHub is going to ask for your username as well as for password every time you're going to use any kind of a Git command. All right, moving further to the second approach where we are going to troubleshoot the same issue using the SSH keys. So here in this guide, I have prepared some commands which you need to use for generating your SSH keys. So here, if you follow this guide, the first step is you need to create your SSH keys. And here is the command for generating the SSH keys. The command is SSH keys in. So I'm just gonna copy this command going back to terminal. And just see if we have our previously cloned repo here or not. So I'm just going to run ls command. So as you can see, we have deleted our previously cloned repo using the HTTPS URL. So our folder is pretty much empty. So I'm just going to run the command SSH keys in. So as soon as I enter the command, it is going to ask like, what's the name of your SSH key you want to create? So I'm just going to skip it. I just don't want to create any name. I just, I'll just go with the default name that is id underscore rsa and I'll just hit enter. Enter the passphrase. So it is just a security from the security perspective if you want to assign any passphrase. Uh, otherwise you can skip that one also. So I'm just gonna keep it. Uh, I'm just gonna skip it. I'm just gonna put enter and again I'm gonna hit enter. And here you can see we are able to generate our SSH keys. All right so now let's see the content of our key. So first of all, we need to find the path. So you can find the path from here. It should be something similar to this. And you should keep in mind that the file which you are looking for is id underscore rsa.pub. 
So that's the file name you should look for. But as soon as you will hit the SSH keychain key command, then you are gonna get this complete path over here. This might, might differ based on your laptop or your system. So I'm just gonna copy this command from here and you just need to type the command cat and uh, hit in uh, or paste the path and here you can see this is my SSH key which I need to copy from here and uh, paste it inside my github account okay so I'm just gonna copy this content of this public key from here and go back to your browser so this is my repository uh, but on the right hand side you can see my account go to settings go to SSH and JPG key and here you need to click on this green button that is new SSH keys and here you can paste the content and you can assign some suitable name so I'm just gonna keep the name my SSH keys but before we add this key just let's go back to my terminal and again try to clone the repo so that we can see the issue again so that you know we actually fix this issue okay now we are back to terminal and let's check if we have anything so our uh, directory is completely empty there is nothing in it so I'm just gonna paste the command git clone and if you see carefully we are not using HTTPS we are just using the github URL that is git at the red github.com followed by your username and the repo so I'm just gonna hit enter and here you can see the issue is there okay so now we have created our key and we have not added it yet so I'm just gonna click add SSH key and now you can see over here so this is my key let's head back to our terminal again and then just try to run the git clone commands the same command again so here you can see this was the error which we got and now we are trying to clone the same repo again and here you can see we are able to successfully clone the repo and we can see the content of the repo here that is ls and here you can see the jhook master so we are able to clone our repo and we can go inside that and as well as do the ls and here you can see all the content of my github repo so which you can verify from here also if you go here and jhook master so here you can see the file name uh, that is jhook master iml and readme config tom so here all those things are here so this is the file and this is the config.tom file so this is just for verification purpose i hope you liked the today's session on how to troubleshoot the issue with your github and git clone commands and if you're interested into the similar content then please do follow my channel where I keep on posting the uh, similar lab session on kubernetes helm chart and terraform and also you can find me on web with the name jhook.com where i keep on posting similar lab session guide which can be useful for you so you don't have to note anything else so stay tuned and do follow my channel and see you into the next session till then bye bye